Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when deploying their Node.js applications on Heroku. Our viewer is facing the error message, couldn't find that process type when trying to scale their web dynos. Let's dive into the details and see how we can resolve this problem together. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. The error message couldn't find that process type indicates that Heroku cannot locate the specified process type in your application. This usually relates to the profile configuration. First, ensure that your proc file is named correctly. It should be exactly proc file with no file extension. Let's check that. Next, open your profile and verify that it contains the correct process type. For a Node.js application, it should look something like this, node index.js. After confirming the profile is correct, make sure it has been pushed to Heroku. You can do this by running git add proc file, followed by git commit m add proc file, and then git push Heroku main. Finally, if you still encounter issues, check your Heroku logs for more details. You can view logs by running Heroku logs tail. This will help you diagnose any further problems. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. If you're encountering the error, couldn't find that process type during your Heroku node deployment, it might be related to your build packs. Default process types include console, rake, web, and worker. Check your app's build packs by running a command. If the build pack for Ruby isn't listed first, it could be causing the issue. To fix this, ensure the Ruby build pack is last in the list. You can remove and re-add build packs to adjust their order. After adjusting the build packs, Redeploy your app with a git push. You should now be able to start web and worker processes successfully. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. When deploying a node application on Heroku, it's important to define the correct process types in your profile. Common types include web and worker. In this case, the user had a proc file with a web process defined using Gunnycorn. To resolve the issue of not finding the process type, the user successfully scaled the web process to zero using a Heroku command. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.